Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my first summer melting basket of 2024. Um, before I go on, if I have to cough, I'm sorry, my allergies are <coughs> not happy with me. Uh, also, my nails are disgusting, so please ignore those. Uh, some of this stuff is um, rollovers from the last basket and some of it's no uh the rollovers will probably be last because those were on the bottom of the basket but anyway let's go on so i have the lumisense cotton candy dreams and i did try melting this in my my open concept and it did not go well Ugh. it just didn't throw at all so i'm gonna be melting this in my bedroom and hopefully I'll get better performance there. If I don't, I just won't buy it again, but I think I have maybe like three more of these because I bought a bunch because the, the scent itself is the exact cotton candy scent I've been searching for. I just, it just doesn't, it doesn't perform super well, but we've got that. We've got Sensational's Mango Cheesecake. And that smells really good. I actually don't smell a lot of mango. It just smells like a generically fruity cheesecake smell. Uh, hopefully the mango will come out more when I melt it. But yeah. I have this Mainstays Eucalyptus one. And this is one of the ones that is like half the size of a regular clamshell. Um, but this smells really good and I'm gonna melt this in my bedroom. Um, partially because there is so little wax, but also because I just think the eucalyptus is gonna smell very like, I don't know, spa-esque. I have Scentsy's Catching Z's. Uh, oh, I guess that's the collection. Shut Eye is the name of the wax. And I have melted two cubes of this apparently. Don't remember that, but um, I do like how this smells. I'm I'm thinking I should probably melt this in my bedroom. Firstly, because I'm down two cubes, but also it smell it, it smells like it's gonna be pretty light, but also probably pretty good for the bedroom. So I'm gonna do that. Excuse me. I have this bag. It's a chopped up candle. Um, and it's the Mainstays Lemon Stand. And... Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like lemon squares. And... I love it so, so much. So, I cannot wait to melt that. Um, and... I've got a luminescence energy and this is like a mint scent. Like a herbally mint scent. I melted this downstairs last time. I think just out of curiosity to see how it performs, I'm gonna melt this in my bedroom this time. And I'm kind of separating them because I am gonna take my bedroom scents up and the basket is gonna stay down here, so. Better Homes and Gardens Verdant Palm. Um, let's see. Uh, bergamot Citrus, Lime Blossom, Bamboo, Water Lily, Geranium, Palm Rose, White Clove, Vanilla, White Birch, and Sandalwood. And it smells... It just smells green. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it smells good. It smells fresh. But, like... I don't know how to describe this scent, but it does smell really good. I've got uh, Sensational's Alluring, which is mahogany, bergamot, and amber, and this smells... Oh, so good. This smells so good. This smells like a cologne. Um, and... I always forget. My husband figured out which cologne it smells like because it smells like one he used to wear, but... 
I can never remember which one it is. It might be the, Ab the Abercrombie one. I'm not sure. But it smells like a really delicious cologne. Um, I do usually do like these cologne scents in my bedroom, but for the sake of experimentation, I'm gonna do this one downstairs. I've got one of the ones that I made, which is pink grapefruit, red berries, and rose. I melted one of these in the last basket too, and it did really well. This one is a little bit under poured, which is fine, um, but ugh, it smells so strong. And the last one lasted like two and a half or three days. So I'm very happy with the performance of these. Another one of the ones that I made, which is eucalyptus mint, French lavender, and fresh sage. Uh, this really old Better Homes and Gardens one, which is Pina Colada. Um, this has been bopping around for a long time and it needs to, <coughs> excuse me, needs to finally get used, but I definitely don't want this scent in my bedroom. I don't like pineapple scents. The, the mixture of the coconut makes it so that it's like bearable for me. But I really don't want that scent in my bedroom, so we're gonna go in the living room with that one. Uh, I've got a luminescence coconut lime. Um, and I don't really, it's, this smells like very similar to the pina colada, honestly. Um, but yeah. Sensationals Wildflower Dreams. Um, I don't know the scent notes on this, but it is a floral and it's, oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't know what it is about this. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know what it is about this. Like I genuinely want to cry the second I smell this, but like happy cry. And I don't know what it is because I'm not even the biggest floral lover ever. I do enjoy florals, but I'm pretty picky about them. But I don't know if this, this doesn't smell familiar. So I don't know what's happening. Like I'm not, I don't think it's evoking a scent memory. It could be, and I just don't know. But like, this makes me want to cry happy tears <laughs> smelling it. I don't know, I just love that so much. Sensationals, Caribbean Clouds, Sea Salt, and Pineapple. This, I don't smell the pineapple in this. This just smells like delicious, salty sea air, and kind of like fruity, like a generic fruity beachy scent, but it smells really good. I am hoping that when I warm it, the pineapple doesn't emerge because I'm hoping that it smells exactly like it does on cold because I don't smell the pineapple at all and it smells amazing. So I'm excited about that. I have Better Homes and Gardens Lemon Raspberry Donuts, which is lemon, raspberry, vanilla, sugarcane, donut, and vanilla bean. And I melted this in my last basket and it was really good. It was strong and a really like long performer. This scent lasted like two and a half, three days. Oh, it's so good. And I got a few of these. I had found, um, I can never find when my Walmart puts the wax on clearance, but I found some this day and it was in like a giant tote and it was like only four different scents and this whole tote was filled with them. I wish I could have bought the whole tote, honestly, <laughs> but I just I did not need to. Anyway, Better Homes and Gardens Caribbean Sea Breeze, which is sea breeze, pineapple, honeydew, coconut water, sea salt, orchid, M mugwit? M I don't know how to say that. Moss and white woods. And again, I don't get the pineapple in this, which I'm super fine with. This smells, I don't even know, like a sweet, like a sweet aquatic tropical scent. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not great at describing scents, you guys. I don't have the words, okay? I don't have the words. 
Um, this is Sensi's Ocean Air and Coconut Water. And that smells really good. I don't know the scent notes on this and I don't even know how to begin describing that without just saying it smells like ocean and coconut. So I have this one, which is salt and surf. It, uh, it's a candle that I melted down. Um, it was a Walmart candle. Uh, and it was sea salt, jasmine, and musk. And I really like the scent of this. It's a very, like, it's a light scent. So I think I'm gonna do this in my bedroom because I really don't think that this is going to perform well in my open concept. So that's gonna go in the bedroom. This one is Better Homes and Gardens Kitchen Herb, which is purple, basil, fennel, wild lavender, sage leaf, mint, and chamomile. And this just smells like, I get a lot of the mint and the basil. Yeah, I think I'm mostly getting mint and basil but it smells like if you had like a little countertop herb garden and this just smells like how I imagine like a witch's kitchen to smell in the summer. And it's just so good. It's just so good. It's delicious. Sensational's Dream Cloud. This smells like Ariana Grande's Cloud. And it smells incredible. Um, I love this scent for the bedroom, so that's gonna go there. Um, I may end up pulling some things as I go, not in this video, but like as I go from my bedroom scents and melting them downstairs. I don't know. Cause I feel like I'm gonna end up having a lot of bedroom scents. And I go through scents in my bedroom less quickly, probably at half the rate that I go through them downstairs because downstairs I use a whole bar. Um, at once and then in my bedroom I use half a bar at a time so I go through them much less frequently uh, this is Sensi's pineapple dragon fruit and there's a lot of pineapple in this I'm not a big fan of this but I know my husband is gonna love this I had gotten um, in their most recent flash sale I got a bundle of like four different summer scents and this was in there and this is my least favorite because it smells very pineapple-y. Like, <laughs> sorry, that's like so pineapple-y. I don't know why I keep putting my nose in there, uh, but my husband's gonna like it. So <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt that for him and I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be brave. Although I have to wait probably to melt this until at least next week because I'm not gonna melt it if he's not gonna be here for a long, I'll probably melt this over the weekend. That's that's a good plan. I'll melt this over the weekend so he can smell it as much as possible and I don't feel like I'm torturing myself for nothing. <laughs> anyway, another one that came in that bundle and this, the ocean air and coconut water was uh, also in that bundle and this was also, which is Scentsy's Pacific Mist. And this smells really good. It just kind of smells like aquatic goodness. I mean, I don't have scent notes on any of this, so aquatic goodness is the best you're gonna get. Uh, and this is the fourth one that came in the bundle, which is Stensi's Tahitian Twilight. And this one, if this one like ends up being stronger then it smells like in the bar, like on cold, I mean. Um, like if I can actually smell this really well when it warms, I think this would be my favorite, but this is, this smells strong on cold. And it's, it's like a sweet floral scent, like a tropical floral scent. And it smells pretty good. Oh. Oh, you know what that is? You know what that is? I am down to the rollovers and I have two dream clouds in here. I really don't think I'm gonna go through two dream clouds, but it's fine. I'll just keep them both in here. Um, 
Oh no, there's one in here that is not a rollover, which is Forever Flannel um, by Scentsy. This was one of their Christmas bricks, which is why it's in the shape of a Christmas tree. But this is just a nice kind of like sweet laundry scent. Like it, I'm not a big fan of laundry scents because they tend to smell kind of powdery or like I don't know. Something about them almost makes me feel like I'm going to get a nosebleed. But this one smells just like sweet, fluffy cotton. I don't know what the scent notes on this are, but that's kind of what it smells like to me. And I think that this is going to be a really good bedroom scent. It doesn't necessarily smell like winter or holiday to me. So I'm going to try this in the bedroom and see if I like it. Um, and I'll see when I warm it, whether or not I want to keep it in the bedroom or put it back with the Christmas stuff that I have. Uh, I have another one of the ones that I made. Do I? No. Did I bring one of these out already? I did. Oh, okay. So I have two of the one. I, do, I doubled up. Whoopsie. That's fine. I have two of that. I've got the Cucumber Melon by Sensationals, um, which just smells like, you know, this typical Cucumber Melon scent. Although it smells a bit sweeter, like more melony than I feel like I remember cucumber melon like body sprays and stuff smelling it smells a little bit more melony than that i don't know if that makes sense hopefully uh i have another one whoop, of the ones that i made which is gardenia orange citrus and peony uh sea salt lavender did i already have i feel like i duplicated a lot maybe not anyway this is sea salt lavender. I think I'm gonna put this in with my bedroom scents because I, I wanna try it there. Uh, Better Homes and Gardens Frankincense and Patchouli. Better Homes and Gardens Rainy Spring Day. Better Homes and Gardens Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. Am I saying that right? I have no idea. Since he's weathered leather, I am apprehensive to melt this. I want to melt it because I want to see how it smells, but I'm terrified that it's going to make my entire house because it's it smells pretty strong. It I'm terrified that it's going to make my entire house smell like a leather working shop, and I don't want that. I want something that's kind of just you know masculine and cozy smelling and like has the hint of leather i wonder if maybe i mix this with um with like i think i have vanilla bean buttercream i wonder if i mix it with that would that work i'm gonna keep this in here and honestly i will probably ignore it <laughs> i'll probably end up ignoring it but if I can find, I'm, I know I have something that's like vanilla but bean buttercream or something like that. If I can find that, I might, might try that combination because I'm, I don't know if I'm sold on the idea of melting that by itself. Yeah, I don't know. And then the final one I have in here is ooh, Dumbo's uh, Soar High Through the Sky. So I should, honestly, I should probably, I have this in my club, so I get a bar of this every month and I feel like I've been melting, a, a, recently I've been melting a bar every month, but I have a brick of it too. I feel like I should be working on the brick <laughs> instead of the little bars, probably, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I probably should. Um, I'm going to, usually I melt this in my bedroom. I'm going to leave it for out here because I'm curious how that's going to go out here. Anyway. That is everything that I am going to be melting for probably the next month, I'd say. This might last, mm, yeah, maybe. This might last me about a month. 
um, maybe like three weeks or so, depending on how some of these perform, because I do let my wax melt out until, like I let it go until it dies. And then if it dies, like, depending on when it dies, I'll just wait till the next morning to pop more in because I leave my warmers on 24 seven and I don't wanna put a wax in, like a new wax in at night and then like only be able to smell it for like an hour or two before I go to bed. So it really depends on when the scent runs out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what I'm gonna be melting. And yeah, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below um, if you've melted any of these. And if you have, do you like it? Did you like it? Was it good? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling now. I have no idea why. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Bye.